I have dozens of sales calls every week with our Castos Productions customers to talk about how they can grow their brand, whether it's personal brand or their company's brand through content. And in every one of those, it always starts with go to YouTube and video first, and then you can distill your content down from there. But, you know, in my own personal journey, I've not taken that advice. I've not said, how can I grow my personal brand, my network, my reach, and my kind of thought leadership? Uh, through YouTube, I've said, how can I do that on LinkedIn or Twitter or my own blog or my email list? And in this video, I'm just gonna walk through how I've kind of had a realization that I should take my own advice and go YouTube first with everything. Let's dive in. Hey there, Craig Hewitt here. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how and why I believe YouTube really is the future for branding. Uh, and why so many of us who have played around on Instagram or Twitter or LinkedIn uh, really should maybe be thinking about flipping the script on its head and starting with video content and disseminating from there. You know, I follow a lot of what Justin Welsh says. He has this kind of hub and spoke model where he talks about the hub is this core piece of content you create every week. And then you have spoke or kind of tangential pieces like a Twitter thread or a LinkedIn post or something like that. Uh, and for him, it's always the email newsletter. And arguably there's no better place to invest your time than a digital property that you own entirely. And email definitely is kind of the best one about that, right? Nobody's taking away your email list. But I would argue that writing an email newsletter and, and starting a personal blog is kind of doing it on hard mode because you're relying on some other channel to grow your audience. And, and this is the same kind of thought process I go through with our podcasting customers for our Castos production service, where I say like, hey, podcasting as a medium is amazing. It's a long form narrative storytelling, like all this really great stuff that we all know about podcasting. And it's, it's changed my life in so many ways. But podcasting has an enormous discoverability problem that, that probably will never, never really be solved. And YouTube definitely has that cracked, right? Think about the rabbit hole you go down when you go looking at DIY projects or Game of Thrones videos or whatever it is that you're into. YouTube is a master at really two things. One is like episode level discoverability. So I can watch a dozen cat videos in a row or a dozen videos on SaaS growth in a row, all from different channels. And you would absolutely never do that in podcasting. And the other thing you could do is you can monetize directly on the platform. Um, so, so like to me, as I'm thinking about like starting a creator journey, which, which essentially I'm starting from scratch, right? I have kind of hundreds of email subscribers. I have singles, thousands of followers on LinkedIn and Twitter. Um, I have, you know, a thousand listeners to my podcast called Rogue Startups. If you haven't listened, please check it out. We're on about 300 episodes, uh, roguestartups.com. But when it comes to really taking my personal brand and my network and my thought leadership to the next level, I've been to floundering for, for probably about a year, uh, if I'm honest, as to like, where do I invest my time? What does that look at? like? Why am I here? <laughs> you know, what am I, what am I doing? What's the purpose of all this? And then like, what do I want to work towards? What is the end goal that I'm putting in these reps and these efforts and these recordings and these blog posts and everything for? Um, and, and I think that the first of all, you have to answer that is like, what do you want to be known for? I think that's the easiest question to answer. Um, and once you have that, you need to say, okay, how am I going to build trust and authority and an audience so that I can be known for this thing that will then, and this is the key part, that will then serve some kind of purpose, right? And for me, it's like almost always a business purpose. I don't want to be internet famous for anything more than making more money and growing my business, right? I have no... Um, no aspirations to be like an internet celebrity or anything. That's actually the opposite of what I want. I just want to be a dude who works a little bit in his office every day and has a really nice business in life. Um, but I believe that Twitter and LinkedIn and Instagram and threads and Facebook and whatever else are not the place to do that these days. I, I just don't, and I don't have the conviction that those places are where a long-term, sustainable, thriving audience should be made. Sure, it can, uh, but for me, it's just not it. It's just not it. I think I'm too close to the bias I have for podcasting, which is like long-form media content, to buy into the pretty low threshold that is me typing some words and hitting post um, 
as the primary medium that I disseminate my message. And so what does that mean for me is I have a goal of building my, my audience and my network and my thought leadership, and I am doing it here. Um, and I'm doing it here in the context of growing a business, right? So build an audience to grow a business and specifically build an audience to improve your sales and marketing to grow a business. I'm not a developer. I'm not a designer. I'm not a product person. I think product is way overrated and Francois and people on the Castos team, I'm sorry if that's, if that is uh, not what you want to hear, but the truth is there are a whole bunch of products out there that never had any customers. And there are very few really great marketing companies with shitty products that aren't really big. And there's a whole bunch of examples of them. And I'm not going to name them because it might be shameful, but you know who they are uh, and they're enormous companies. And, and I think that distribution always, always, always beats out product if it's that good. And, and I think that that's where, that's where I am is I think we have taken distribution of my company of Castos to, to a point, And I think we've reached kind of a local maximum there. And, and I believe that me as a creator and a personality and a brand or something are the thing is the thing that can take that to, to kind of the next level. And that's what this is all about, right? It's me talking about what I know about SaaS and sales and marketing and all that kind of stuff to grow online businesses. And I am going to do it here. Um, I've, I've got accounts on Twitter. I'm B. Craig Hewitt. I'm on LinkedIn. You can find me there. I'll be posting some of this stuff there, but that is not where my content will start. My content will start at me staring into my Canon and talking into my Samsung Q2U mic and sharing what I know, right? And this is not scripted and this is not rehearsed. I don't have a teleprompter, but this is just me sharing what I know. And I truly believe that I should just take the advice that I give to every single one of our Castos Productions customers. It is Start with video because then you can disseminate down from there. You can distill video into audio, into a blog post, into social media content, into audiograms and short clips and things like that. And so while this will be disseminated as a podcast episode, it, it first and foremost is a video for my YouTube channel. And, and I believe that in five years, we will all say, oh shit, I wish I would have gotten on the YouTube bandwagon first. And it's not just for you know, my son watching gaming videos or my daughter watching makeup tutorials or me watching home restoration things. It is, I believe, a place where people and personalities will come to learn more about the people that they're really interested in and connect and engage and build a community and a network. You know, we see the social part of social media working really well sometimes, right? Replies on Twitter or comments and likes on LinkedIn and things like that. And, and that's all good, but I, I'll just tell you 100% the engagement I get on YouTube far surpasses everything that I see on conventional text-based social media. And that's why I just, I'm so bullish on this. And so what you can expect going forward for me is uh, information about like just how I'm approaching YouTube as a personal brand building medium. Uh, I think this is pretty unconventional. Um, and a lot about how I approach sales and growing the business. And so those two things, and really the intersection of those two things is what I hope this channel will be all about in the future is how you can use YouTube to grow a brand, right? How you can use YouTube to grow your personal brand and how you can use YouTube to grow your company's brand. And we have a thriving YouTube channel over at Castos, youtube.com slash Castos, and a huge shout out to Matt Medeiros who built the vast majority of the content and the momentum we have there. And I am picking the picking the momentum up from from where he left off, but um, I'm very grateful for the asset that we have there, and it is something that I'm hoping to nurture and move forward. I hope this is helpful, just as a catch up for me, um, or catch up from me on kind of what's going on, how I'm looking at personal brand, how I'm thinking in a YouTube first approach to building a personal brand, and sharing what I know about building online businesses. As always, if you're enjoying this, please like, subscribe, smash the bell, all the good stuff, send the, the, the good juice to YouTube. And if you're enjoying this, leave a comment below. Please tell me, good, bad, or indifferent, if you're liking the content and what you want to see more and less of. And we'll see you next time.